Coming up right now, a major city bans the use of ski masks. Is this discrimination or just crime prevention? Also coming up, a news reporter claps back at a rude viewer. Why you might think twice before sending a mean email when you hear her response. A little bit later on, Supernatural star Mark Shepard, very lucky to be alive. Wait mm -hmm. until you hear what his wife did to save his life. Daily Flash starts right now. Get ready for trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash with your host, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. The fun starts right now. This is Daily Flash. Hi everyone, I'm Andrea Jackson. Hi, I'm Mitch English, welcoming you to our show. It's called Daily Flash. A little bit later on in the show, we're gonna be heading into the kitchen, get you some uh, libations just in time for this time of year. A nice right? holiday yeah. libation. Uh, have you heard about this thing called the Christmas tree syndrome? Uh, okay, the Christmas tree based off the, the, the um, Book or nope. no? Okay, no, Christmas I guess not. tree I guess, syndrome. No, I don't. yeah, me neither. Okay. So I was like, what so is this? Another new syndrome we have to worry about. Another new syndrome we have to worry about. Apparently, there is a real syndrome that affects people when it comes to their allergies. When you bring in a real oh, or yeah. a fake Christmas tree, so I was like, mm, I don't know about this. But as I read a little bit further, it makes sense. Real Christmas trees obviously have they can have mold, sense, they can right? have different things on them, um, and that can cause an allergic reaction. Much like even a fake Christmas tree can collect dust it's been up in the attic yeah. yeah so they say the best thing to do if you've got a real Christmas tree if you can hose it off and let it dry outside first so you get any sort of mold or dust or pollen okay. off of it now if you've got a fake Christmas tree they say take a take a blower to it or uh, dust it off if you can wipe down the branches just to get rid of the dust and, and the potential dust mites and and possibly mold that could be in the Christmas so tree. so weird I never even thought about that Me I neither. think um, well you think when you when you get the Christmas trees, if you uh, chop it down, if that's one way you do it, that, well, you know, it's been out in their nature, you still have to go through that, but they're out. Uh, we went Christmas tree shopping and, uh, the, you know, the, the underneath the tent, yeah. so there's hundreds of them that you could choose from. But then they also had the fake snow. Yes. And so I think people would be more allergic to something like that, you know, the you bring in chemicals. I think chemicals. they call it flocking, right? So flocking, flocking, I'm not sure the name <laughs> Uh, but but uh, yes, like, that's a great point. So that could also be another mm -hmm. outcome. Just one of those things you just don't think about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you, and I can see because I remember our Christmas tree had this very distinct attic smell because mm -hmm. it was up there for so long. So I can totally agree. They with say that. that that lovely Christmas tree smell that you get from a fresh tree mm -hmm. is a combination of things that you know collect on it. So even though it smells delightful to some people, it could cause an allergic right. reaction. Something to think about. We head now to the city of brotherly love where the city council there in Philadelphia just passed a bill banning the use of ski masks as the winter weather starts to take a hold. Now the new law bans the use of ski masks, these things like you're seeing right here, uh, on public transportation. You can't wear them in schools, daycares, parks, city owned buildings and recreation centers. The casual use of ski masks in the city actually increased in 2020 during COVID and concerned, uh, coincided rather with a major spike in crime. Some are calling this actually racist, while others are saying, listen, it's just a matter of safety. Prior to COVID, you could not wear any kind of mask into several places, including a bank. So why do people feel that, you know, you're able to be able to do that now? I can't see how it's racist. I'm trying to, I'm trying to put the two together. Um, it, it, are they saying because it's a, uh, you know, a fashion culture thing or whatever. I, I, I'm not 100% sure how they, they connect the two. According to the report, specifically in Philadelphia, they say it's a, a large portion of minority people wear the ski masks. But uh, if you're in Philadelphia, it doesn't matter what color you are, you're wearing something to protect yourself from the cold, 100%, right? 100%, <laughs> right. And you know, okay, does that mean, you know, you can't get a, uh, you know, a scarf and wrap it around your you know, head and, yeah. and put a hat too? So it's all concealing faces. I know you can't wear it in some, uh, banks, they'll say, take your sunglasses off, can't wear hats sometimes. Exactly. And because, you know, it's their 
businesses' laws or rules, rather, because in this case somebody comes in trying to rob it. Well, and I think instantly. COVID sort of normalized yes, the mask uh -huh. wearing it anywhere. And if you if you watch any recent round of crime videos, you see so many of these people are wearing the surgical masks or the ski yeah, mask. Right. Those are always associated with some form of crime, right? The ski mask from the movies. One hundred percent. Yeah. You know, the full of like, well, well, of course you look somewhat guilty and suspicious. Now, what about pantyhose? Can you still wear pantyhose <laughs> over the head? I think you can. Okay. Clearly, if you're walking into a bank with a pair of pantyhose, you're there for other reasons <laughs> okay. than just to make a typical withdrawal. Well, a Canadian news reporter is getting attention for her response to a viewer who criticized her on-air appearance. Take a look. Just going to respond to an email that I just got uh, saying congratulations on your pregnancy. If you're going to wear old bus driver pants, you have to expect emails like this. So thanks for that. Um, no, I'm not pregnant. I actually lost my uterus to cancer last year. And um, this is what women of my age look like. So if it is offensive to you, that is unfortunate. Think about the emails that you sent. Well, 59-year-old Leslie Horton, a traffic reporter with Global News Morning Calgary, was given her usual traffic report when she paused to respond to a rude viewer. The Vancouver native, who returned back to work last April, did not name the person who sent the email. And, and if you look, traffic looks pretty easy going. It doesn't yeah. look like there's any problems behind her. So she used that time, I guess, to be able to do that. But it seems like, you know, when you call attention to that sort of thing, you're kind of... Um, really telling you know this is something she could have handled in an email i'm yeah. sorry now and what's going to happen is now she's going to get an onslaught of support and that mm. sort of thing and maybe that's what she needs i mean I, i'm not taking away anything she did from that but they teach you as far as news goes mm -hmm. don't make the story about you and uh, it just seemed like it was kind of a non sequitur i haven't seen the whole segment you know where she just wanted to come out and she just wanted to state her point but you know it, you're going to get uh, trolls on, uh, no matter what. I mean, like when 100%. I was fat, I would get them 10, 10 a day. You know, did it bother me? 100%. But when I wrote those people back personally or mm -hmm. whatever, not all the time, that's when I got more of a response than doing something like this. I find it um, very unprofessional. That's just my personal opinion. I get it. You're angry. You don't like getting a rude email, but you're in this business. You're in front of a camera. You're in people's living rooms. They feel as though they have the right to criticize you, regardless of, of what they're criticizing you for. And so to call them out on television, yeah. like you mentioned, you're almost giving them more credit than they deserve. 100%. And I just think, like you said it's it's you're making it about you it's not about you you're there to deliver information you're there to deliver a traffic report so what somebody doesn't like you you live by the sword you die by the sword if you live by all those positive emails and those comments about how much people love you then you're gonna have to deal yeah, equally to with the ones that come back and say they can't stand it's you. a very good point and um, I, I also I think just I again I haven't seen the whole thing for her to kind of just take her segment it seems like there should have been some kind of discussion going on maybe like yeah. maybe their co-anchors could have jumped in and say, hey, hey, can we talk about this thing? I know you were talking about before, you know, it just seems like she was going to make this statement and it, that that's the part that yeah. kind of bothers me. It's like, I understand and nobody should be doing that sort of thing, but, you know, just let it roll off your back and, you know, that you got to have a thick skin in this business. Yeah, 100%. but I think there's a way you can have fun with hate mail. I, I mean, 100%, <laughs> there's you no should. reason why you can't take it not. So see, you can't take yourself, you shouldn't take yourself so seriously. Yes, and yeah. I think that the the realm of what I got, at least from that clip, yeah. it was that she was taking it too seriously. Yeah. And, you know, maybe, you know, have fun with it. I think that I, I agree with you 100%. This, wow, you talking about you're supposed to be on this earth. There's a TV show, it's called Supernatural, right? Well, the star of it, Mark Shepherd, Shepherd rather, he revealed he suffered six massive Ooh. heart attacks after collapsing in his LA kitchen. The 59-year-old British actor credited his wife saving his life and said he had actually been changed by the near-death experience. Wow. He was brought back to life four times during this ordeal. Shepard said he suffered what is known as the Widowmaker. That's the deadliest kind of cardiac arrest, which occurs when the largest coronary artery becomes blocked. It almost, uh, it actually carries almost 50% of the blood to the heart. He posted a photograph of himself laying in the hospital bed with several heart monitors uh, connected to his chest. He is expected to receive a full recovery. He is obviously, if that was life changing, but even the fact that he's on a show called Supernatural really kind of <laughs> is what makes this story that much more. Now, here's a question for you, and I heard our producer James kind of mentioning it uh, while we were doing the story. It's like, should you be posting pictures of yourself from the hospital bed? 
Should you not be more focused on your care rather than on your social media following? I say that, but I've, I, I've done it before. I had a kidney stone one time. I'm like, oh, woe is me. I'm like the reporter here, you know? Look at me. I'm in pain. Did you do it because you wanted some sympathy? Uh, of course I did, yeah. Yes, I mean, right. why, why not? But the, you know what? If this brings attention to heart attacks, which is the number one, you know, my, you know yeah. it, 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 it's, it's a killer, it's a huge problem. I would hope that he would use that that notoriety to be able to do Yeah, that. because there's a point where social media can come in as a teaching moment, right? To let people know, hey, this could happen to you, it happened to me, uh, you know, I should be one of those guys that's <laughs> in front of a doctor, I'm in front of a camera, I should have access to healthcare, I should have known before this happened to me. Six of them though, too, you think about that, how many Ooh. times, um, it, it, it had to be extremely scary, and then kudos to the wife, you know, for, yes. I don't, I'm not sure how I would handle that situation, I'd be like, what do I do, just hit you on the chest? I, mean, I don't know what you would do I, outside of that, so Jack Jackson, don't, don't do that because I want to know. <laughs> People underestimate the power of CPR. Uh, right. So keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we're going to head into the kitchen here because mm -hmm. we are ready for the season and we want you to as well. We've got some great uh, recipes you can maybe bring up when you have family and friends over. Mm -hmm. All that's mm -hmm. coming up right here on Daily Flash. Hi everybody, it is that time of year where we start celebrating with family and friends. And if you're looking for some creative ways to do it up right, well, we got them right here. We do. Joining us now is lifestyle expert Adina Anderson. She's got some festive ideas for us. Hi Adina, hey. welcome to Daily Flash. Thank you so much for having me. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Uh, all right, Adina, is like your house like the house like everybody wants to come to? Are they, are they like dying to get the invite because you are like, uh, you know, you do these things mm -hmm. upright? Uh, you can be you can be a little promoter, promoterable right now. Be honest. Yeah. I do, yes, I do. Actually, I always go north for the holidays, but I do decorate my house up. Pretty Christmassy this time of year. Okay, very nice. Well, listen, uh, you got to have those things that are in everybody's uh, uh, arsenal, if you will, when it comes to holiday parties. You say you have one, a holiday cocktail. And what we're going to try to do is make it here on Daily Flash. But you got to tell us about, about this one. Give us a little history about it. Yeah, so, you know, I, I love a, a whiskey-type cocktail just because that's kind of what I grew up on. Uh -huh. This is a kind of a neat little twist on the ice part of the cocktail that I've done. And what I did is I put a little bit of water in the glass, added the cranberries, and then took the rosemary and put it in oh, and nice. froze it. So it's Great kind of like idea. a Christmas tree oh, in your cocktail. That, that actually is a really good idea. I love that idea. Now, and with that, there's some libations that goes on top of it. Am I right? There is, yes. Yeah. So one tip I want to give when you're making a cocktail like this is have a little mixing cup, okay. especially okay. if you're going to freeze it like this because you don't want it to overflow and you want to make sure you get all of your ingredients okay. in there. So we're going to start with an ounce of cranberry juice. Okay, so and we have a jigger. Have it's this side of the jigger, right? So the small side or the large side? Yes. Yeah, so okay. The small well, side? It's the small side. Okay. But I'm a Michigan girl, and so we don't really use shot glasses. We are kind of a, a count okay. for kind of thing when okay. it comes to the alcohol, mm -hmm. but I'll, I'll try to follow the recipe here for it, you. It's okay. totally fine. I totally get what you're saying and appreciate it <laughs> at the same time. Okay, we, we got okay. the uh, cranberry juice in. All right, so what's next? One ounce of that. And then we have our three ounces okay. of orange juice, and you can use whatever orange okay, juice. Okay, now I do know this um, is a... Uh, is that three ounces? I think that's... The sure. other side is. Oh, shoot. It's going to be. You like orange juice? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't really, but. <laughs> All right, well, then I'll do this. We'll, put, you know we'll switch. It's a fun cocktail. You can't mess it up. Right? Okay. This perfect. one's yours, so. Okay, there we go. All right, and that's enough you want? Okay. Yep. And then we have two ounces of. You want to make sure you have a really good sweet whiskey. Oh, boy, and do so we. So this is kind of a bourbon blended whiskey. Mm -hmm. And so you want to make sure if you if you don't have something you already like, when you go to the liquor store, just tell them you want a, a bourbon blended whiskey or something sweet. Okay. So we're going to do two ounces of Jackson, that. Jackson, we got you a ride home. So oh, boy, worry. I hope so. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Didn't think I was going to put that in mind. There you go. There you go. This is great. Okay. And then you want to add about a half ounce of an orange liqueur. Now, an orange liqueur is something you can put pretty much anything just to add some okay. great flavor. It's good with an old-fashioned. It's good with a margarita. It's good with this cocktail. So definitely always have some orange liqueur on hand. Got it. All right. Okay, so we got things together. Uh, ice in here? Yeah, okay. What, what's next? What do we do next? What, what do we put in here? Ice? Then we have our 
Um, now it says freshly squeezed lemon, but I just put a little little dab of you know something you can get at the okay. store, and then you want to add a little bit of simple syrup. Now only add the simple syrup if you like the drink to be a little sweeter. Some people don't, so you know that that, that you Sweet can enough. take it or how you want. Okay. And so you're gonna stir this up. Okay. And like I said, that's why you like to put it in a little mixer here. Can, can we do it? Yeah. Can we do it gonna, uh, this way too? However you want that. I love seeing that. I was afraid to do that on here and have it fly across my room. <laughs> so. well, we are too, so don't even worry about it. <laughs> All right, so we got a nice mix going on. All right. Yes, and then you're going to pour it to about half full in there. And then you're just going to top it off with a yummy ginger beer. Ooh. And then you can add some orange slices or you can add oh, cranberries. But again, I've already added my cranberries and my rosemary inside oh, the glass beautiful. here. beautiful. Do some of that. But it's such a fun, festive little cocktail. And the really cool thing is you could turn this oh, into a mocktail. With, just don't add any of the liqueur. And then oh, the kids yeah. can enjoy a fun mocktail as well. Very nice. OK. Well, cheers we to cheers to you. Tell us about that centerpiece you made. Yeah. Yeah. So I am, I am the thrifty girl. And I love to <laughs> reuse, repurpose. And so these, can, these candle holders I usually have on my fireplace all the time. And I always bring them down for centerpieces. So this is kind of what you want to start with a centerpiece is have something that's stackable. So whether you're going to have it in the middle or, oh, you, sorry, I got the cat in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I love it. Sorry. <laughs> he always makes an appearance no matter when I'm love on it. <laughs> it. Totally great. I love right. it. It makes you feel like it's home. Right. Okay. <laughs> that's right. So you, have, you start with your stackable. So whether you're using candlesticks, candle, like these are the, the candle holders, you always want to have something larger in the middle. And then I just headed over to the whatever the dollar store is in your uh -huh. area. And then just get, I got the little Christmas tree here, added some little bulbs, I put a little Santa hat. I got this snowflake over there. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of piecing. You don't want to spend more than $10, $20. Right. And then you can reuse this. So you'll have your candle holders, you know, over in Thanksgiving or Valentine's or whatever, and just add whatever the theme is around. I had this cute little ornament from a friend, and so I popped that in there. It's just kind of fun to just grab things from around your house and see what you can create with and it. I love the little hostess uh, gift that you mm -hmm. have together there. These are things that a hostess would, uh, would need for their celebrating and that sort of thing. You say just kind of like things like cranberries and such. Quickly, what else is inside that uh, little gift? Yes, definitely. So I am all about charcuterie. So just whatever you would see on a charcuterie board, pop it in a box. It's great for neighbors' Very nice. gifts. It's great for hostess gifts, whatever you need. All right. The website is creativelifestyles.tv. Adriana, can, can, Adriana can, you, can you get your cat? I want to see your cat. Can you grab her? <laughs> oh, he's in the window, but here. Oh. Let me, here, I'll grab, I'll grab <laughs> Mr. Boog. Here's the big boy. Oh, there my we, gosh. Gosh. That's great for a Halloween party. I love it. Adriana, thank you so Bye, much. Nina. That was fun. Look at him. Happy holidays. It was the month of Christmas, and all through the flash, the hosts were rehearsing as Matt took out the trash. How is this my job? The cameras were in place. The scripts handled with care. How come the good-looking voice guy never gets on air? Mention his necktie. Andrea in her dress. Are we going to shoot the show? I don't know, I guess. The viewers were watching from all over the map. Do you think your job's bad? I have to read this crap. So wherever you watch us, TV, phone, or our site. Happy holidays to all! You had one line. Yeah, I had you all a good night. Season's greetings from all of us at Daily Flash. Lifestyle expert Joanne Butler is back with some high-tech holiday must-haves. Hi, Joanne. Oh, hi. Thanks for having me. Well, let's start with some award winners from Amazon Kids. They have a ton of great devices just for kiddos, each with a two-year worry-free guarantee, which means if it breaks, return it, and Amazon will replace it. Also, they have some fantastic parental controls, too, so you can really customize their experience. And each come with six or 12 months of Amazon Kids Plus, which is the only content service out there just for kids, with thousands of ad-free games, videos, books, podcasts, music, apps, and Alexa skills too from Disney, Nickelodeon, PBS Kids, Marvel, and original shows like Angry Birds, Lego, and Hello Kitty. Um, this is new for kids 6 to 12. It's the Fire HD 10 Kids Pro Tablet. It comes with exclusive content like games that let kids invite parents or older siblings to play on their phones. Uh, plus, they'll reward kids for educational experiences they check out, uh, like space or dinosaurs. It has a battery that lasts up to 13 hours, and it's just $199.99. Next up, the new Echo Pop 
Kids Smart Speaker. They have two new designs, the Marvel Avengers and Disney Princess, which kids are just loving. Uh, you can access a new Explore with Alexa chat feature and fun facts and trivia questions about animals and nature. Just great to fuel their curiosity. Plus access to a ton of other content, audiobooks, jokes. It even helps with homework and it's just $49.99. And this is the Kindle Kids with Amazon Kids Plus. It has thousands of books and audiobooks like Artemis Fowl. And studies show that kids read on average more than an hour a day on their Kindle. So it's just so great. It also has literacy tools and vocabulary builders. Six weeks of battery life on a single charge, if you can believe that. 16 gigabytes of storage. And it comes with a protective cover. It's just $119.99. And then something amazing for your home, uh, whether you want to keep an eye out for Santa or deter porch pirates, it's all new from Philips Hue. They've integrated a home surveillance camera with their amazing lighting system. So you can see everything that's going on in real time with a crystal clear 1080 HD live stream with special night vision. Uh, it has a speaker for two-way talk as well. So it works right with an app on your uh, phone and you'll get motion alerts and you can activate light and alarms from wherever you are right from your phone. And the videos have end-to-end -end encryption as well. So they're secure and confidential. So you don't have to worry about that. Just gives you great peace of mind, you know, especially around the holidays. And of course, if you're traveling and you can get this right at philipshue.com. Cameras start at $199.99 and kits at $299.99. This is just, you know, again, a great gift if you have a new homeowner in the family and, of course, for yourself. Uh, and there you have it, my high-tech holiday gift ideas. Happy holidays. One in eight women are affected by breast cancer, including Juliana Rancic, who is celebrating 12 years cancer-free. She has proudly teamed up with Avocados from Mexico for the Avocados from Mexico Cure Bowl. The annual American College Football Bowl game benefits breast cancer research. She joins us now to tell us all about it. Welcome, Juliana. Hey, thank you so much for having me. You know, I am so excited to be partnering with Avocados from Mexico. They are sponsoring the Cure Bowl that's happening in Orlando this weekend. And it's a college football game benefiting cancer research. And for me, that is a cause very near and dear to my heart as a breast cancer survivor for 12 years now. Um, I love to partner with brands that really, you know, care about breast cancer and cancer research in general. So this is gonna be such an exciting event, a wonderful event, a way to really give back. And um, so everyone can tune in. It's gonna be 3.30 Eastern on Saturday on ABC. But before that, we're holding something that I'm really excited about. I'm gonna be with the Avocados for Mexico team. And we're gonna be there at the stadium having a great time, but also we're gonna be making signs during something called the Super Good Rally. So we're going to be making signs with other people's names on them that are going through breast cancer that just need a little bit of love and support. So I'm really excited about that. And in fact, everyone can get in on that on social. All you have to do is check out the Avocados for Mexico Instagram page and get in on the conversation with us using the hashtag super good rally and let us know who you're rallying for in your life who could just use that extra love and support as well. And on top of that, I love avocados. I'm sure a lot of you do. Avocados are such a versatile food. They're very, very easy to put in, you know, a smoothie, a salad on avocado toast, as you know, so on bread um, and, you know, guacamole, which goes great with football, by the way, as you know. Um, so it's a great, great, delicious food, but it's also a superfood. It's packed with 20 vitamins and minerals. So it's not only delicious, but it's really good for you. And to learn more about it, all you have to do is go to avocadosformexico.com. It's really exciting to be part of this event. So get in on the conversation on social media. Be sure to follow Avocados for Mexico on social media as well for um, recipes and all sorts of tips. This is Daily Flash with your hosts, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. Trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash. 
Hi, everybody. I'm Mitch English. I'm Andrea Jackson. This is Daily Flash, your source for trending news and entertainment. I was at the grocery store the other day, and I went through and bought a bunch of stuff, and I had a, a, a little drink right here um, in my, my cart, and so I went through and um, paid for everything, and then I pulled out, and I saw I didn't pay for it. And I'm not going to lie, there was a moment I'm like, ah, screw it, I'll just pick. But I know <laughs> I've been really doing this whole thing, what comes around goes around, yeah. and this karma thing. Yep. And I said, hey, ma'am, actually, I forgot to, to do this. And I'm not trying to tell you I'm better than anybody. I just, I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I'm doing the right uh, thing when it comes and being honest. But in, so I, I went and did a little study. Uh, uh, there was a study out actually that had came out, I did a little research, if you will, that four in 10 people will admit to have actually admit to being dishonest and would happily lie if they knew they can get away with it. Four in 10, 40%, that's really? a lot. 53% uh, would actually, actually, if they were given more change when they checked out, would actually keep it, according to the survey. Ooh. And then uh, one third of the people asked and says, if you found out $300,000, would you keep it? One third of the people said, yeah, I absolutely would. And then finally, half of the people said, if they walked up to an ATM and somebody left a 20, that they would take it. And they would have no problems with that at all. Half of the people say that. I, the last one, I'd be, I would be kind of like, well, what are you going to do? Somebody else is going to take it. And, and then, I mean, your mind goes through all these scenarios thinking, oh, uh, maybe the universe sent this yeah. to me. You know, that <laughs> yeah. kind of thing. Yes, of because, course. Because, you know, there's nobody else around. Yeah. And you're like, how do you get that $20 back to somebody? Especially at an ATM, it's not like uh, there's a customer service agent yeah. around the corner that you can go That's say, hey, point. by the way, lost and found, uh, somebody left their $20 bill in the ATM machine. Here you go. How I do they track it down? I would look into the camera and say, hey, I found this. Um, if the person that's <laughs> looking for it, they can get a hold of me, you know who I am. And then I feel a little bit better about that. I think there's some power to a mission. You know, if we don't tell someone about it or we don't. Yeah. Fess up to it. Yeah. Then is it really lying? Yeah. Well, that, and I think a lot of people know. And I think a lot. No, that's a very important. Right. And I think a lot of people, if they knew they can get away with uh -huh. it, and that nobody would, no repercussions, would they do it? Right. And obviously, so it looks like more and more Americans would actually do just that. Look, so. if I found three hundred thousand dollars, I would. Come on. I, I, well, I, I would totally keep it. I, I, I would. would <laughs> I would. Not gonna lie to you. I would be afraid. That you know, I would lay low. I would think it out first. I'm not gonna lie to you either. Mm -hmm. But eventually, I go, man, somebody's gonna be looking for this, and they're gonna find me, and they're gonna want me, and I'm gonna have already spent it. And You're thinking of the episode of Fargo where he <laughs> finds the cash on the oh, side of the road. My mindset was then, actually right there. Then that's things funny. just go south, and he's like, it's because of the money it's I found. That's 100. percent so That's that's a good point. Well, the Philadelphia City Council just passed <laughs> a bill banning the use of ski masks as the winter weather starts to take hold. The new law bans the use of ski masks on public transportation in schools, daycares, parks, city-owned buildings, and recreation centers. The casual use of ski masks in the city increased in 2020 during COVID and coincided with a major spike in crime. Now, some are calling the move racist, while others say it's a matter of safety. Prior to COVID, you were not allowed to wear masks into several places of business, including banks. And why would you want to in the first place? I mean, you're yeah. calling uh, attention to yourself. And to me, if I saw somebody walking into a building, mm -hmm. a bank, especially, and you got a ski mask on, I'm thinking you're about to rob this of place. Of course. 100%. And, you, and uh, it could cause panic. It could cause, you know, you, you have to understand. And it's not like you go, oh, I forgot I had this thing on. <laughs> Right, you know, and, and so yeah, I, I don't feel this is racist. I think it's actually we're looking out for each other by doing stuff like this, and then Philadelphia is actually on the right track to be able to. You say it's a matter that. of safety, not. I think so, one hundred percent, and I, I don't see why you would need it. Uh, and first, you look weird walking around yes. with those things. Yeah. Uh, side note about Philadelphia, can I share this with Please. you? I just heard this this morning. You know the Yule Log on television uh, yeah, that everybody uh, sees? Apparently, Philadelphia has their own version. And Philadelphia is its own unique, beautiful city. But their version of the Yule Log, I kid you not, this is actually happening, is a trash can with fire burning. <laughs> That's Philly's Yule Log. Let's go to Philly. We'll Come on, right? It. Actually, I love that. <laughs> Great. Now, if you want to watch a dumpster fire, you stick around, all right? Because we got a great one here waiting for you, too. Uh, it's only, uh, you know, half hour left of it, but at least you can check that out. Plus, we like to have a little fun as well. Uh, lots of traditions around. I, I've heard of, uh, I, I want to watch that, number one. I think it's a gorgeous idea, 100%. It's great, we need it? to think of stuff in different cities of what that is. <gasps> yeah, like different cities version of the Yule Log. Of the Yule Log. You're onto something. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Daily Flash. Are you looking for the best gifts and gadgets this holiday season? Here's the modern man, Mike Bako. He's got his top picks. Hey, Mike. 
Whether you're inside or outdoors, one of my favorite go-tos is Bedshore's wearable blanket hoodies, a perfect gift for families for enjoying a cozy night at home. They're available at Bedshore's store on Amazon at 50% off for the holiday season. For crowd-pleasing stocking stuffers, Duluth's buck naked underwear are a must. They're available for both men and women in a three-pack set and limited edition festive patterns for the holidays. In Bluey the Video Game, become immersed in the world of Bluey in this interactive adventure game. And everyone's favorite pups have returned in the open world adventure adventure game Paw Patrol World. Polaris is the global leader in power sports, making outdoor recreational vehicles like ATVs, side-by-sides, motorcycles, snowmobiles, slingshots, and pontoon boats that allow people to enjoy and explore the outdoors for both play and work. And Metro by T-Mobile is backed by America's largest 5G network. Four lines of unlimited 5G for $100 and up to four free Samsung Galaxy A14 5G phones when you bring over your numbers and join Metro. Visit my Instagram page at Mike Bako for more. Filing your taxes is always a challenge. We've got details on a new tax trend report to help you get your accounts in order. Take a look. We're all looking for ways to save money, right? Well, Intuit TurboTax, America's number one tax prep provider, has released new data and key insights on how Americans earned, spent, and saved on their taxes last year, what they can look forward to for tax year 2023, and how they can save on their upcoming taxes. We have some really interesting findings based on anonymized and aggregated data from tax filers that file with TurboTax. In the lowest income category, we saw the reduction of refunds was more pronounced among um, low income filers. And we did see that lower by 22 percentage points compared to tax year 2021. We found that the percentage of filers that received a Form 1099-NEC or 1099-K grew from 6.7% to 8.1%, which is an indication of the growth in self-employed or people working side gigs. Single parents or single filers with dependents that file as head of household saw an increase of 8.6% of their median adjusted gross income compared to 2.7% in tax year 2021. And the percentage of filers reporting crypto transactions was still the highest among age 25 to 34, although all age groups did see a decline. So what can we do to better ourselves in the coming year? Remember those valuable credits like the child tax credit up to $2,000 or the child and dependent care credit. And then also the IRS, they made adjustments to many tax deductions that are available. So for instance, the standard deduction, that was increased, uh, the most it's been increased in decades. And then also, you know, there are moves you can make by the end of the year that can help your tax situation, like maximizing your retirement plans. You build your nest egg, and then you're also able to lower your taxable income by doing that. And of course, you should enlist help from the experts. Green Lewis says last tax season, TurboTax processed 45 million U.S. tax returns and $106 billion in tax refunds. We're able to help get the maximum refund that they're eligible for and easily file their taxes. So whether you want to do your taxes yourself, you want to get help along the way or fully hand your taxes off to a tax expert, virtually or in person, you can get your taxes done with TurboTax. To learn more about the TurboTax tax trend report and how TurboTax can help, visit the TurboTax blog. Hey, we have a nice treat for you. It is our website. It's brand new. And matter of fact, there is a button on there. You can press it and it drops us an email. You just go to dailyflashshow.com. Anytime you like anything we talk about in the show, you can find it there. More Flash after this. Finding the perfect gift for that someone special is the best feeling. Here's lifestyle expert Meredith Sinclair with great gift giving ideas on a budget. 
The holidays are just around the corner and I've got some great toys to help kick off your holiday shopping. First up, get ready for some big fun with VTech's GoGo Smart Wheels Spiral Construction Tower. This interactive playset features a talking dump truck, spiral tower, and smart point technology. So when kids drive over smart point areas, they'll hear fun phrases about feelings, construction, and cleanup that will help promote early language development. Plus, the switch gate, drawbridge elevator, and swinging crane encourage imaginative play while strengthening fine motor skills. And you can collect other Smart Wheels cars and tracks to explore new responses on each smart point. So next, check out the Tony Box and the first ever Marvel Tonys. The Tony Box is an award-winning screen-free audio player that plays stories, songs, and more. Just pop the Tony figure on top to activate all the exciting content. Each figure comes with multiple songs and one unique story, and now you can join Spidey, Ghost Spider, and their friends on three new crime-fighting adventures. Hours of engaging entertainment for kids three and up. Now for something that will help kids drift off to sleep when they're all done playing. This is the V-Hush Soothing Sleep Trainer. This soother combines light sounds and expert tips to encourage healthy sleep habits. It comes with over 200 program stories, classical music, lullabies, and natural sounds, plus a colorful touch night light, a glow on the ceiling projector, and a Bluetooth speaker. Parents can even record and upload their own songs and stories using the subscription-free app. Now back to playtime. How fun is this Square Goals Augs mega set? Square Goals is a magnetic building system that goes beyond the traditional build and knock down kind of play that most other magnetic sets offer. It's jam packed with various play patterns, including imaginative play with the Augs characters, drawing and crafting elements, and cause and effect play with the cars, tracks, and marble run components. This interactive set is a great family toy where kids in various ages and stages can play together. And finally, say hello to Canoodle by Educational Insights. All the kids and adults in your family will challenge their noggins with this best-selling, brain-twisting game designed for anyone seven and up. With over 200 puzzles, it provides hours of engaging play while enhancing problem solving, critical thinking, and strategy skills. And I love that you can take it wherever you go. Canoodle's small size and self-carrying case make it perfect for holiday travel. I think it makes a great stocking stuffer too. So I hope this helps you kick off your holiday shopping in the most playful way. If you're still in the hunt for the most wanted gifts this holiday season, here's tech expert Jennifer Jolly with her must-haves. Thanks for having me. Let's start with Samsung's Galaxy Watch 6, which features next-gen sleep coaching, advanced wellness features, and up to 40 hours of battery life. Comes in two stylish colors and dozens of band options to rock with your favorite outfit. Plus it pairs with any smartphone, but is the total no-brainer bestie for anyone with a Samsung device. So many bells and whistles, so much bang here for your gadget gifting buck. Create some cherished memories with the HP Envy 7955D all-in-one printer. You can dive into crafting personalized seasonal decorations like printing some ornaments and gift tags that DIY influencer, one of my Instagram faves, Brittany Jepson, helped create. With its awesome print quality and vibrant true-to-life color photos, this printer is one must-have in your household. Plus, with their instant ink paper and add-on subscription service, you never run out of supplies ever again. Check out Cricut Wireless's trifecta of phone deals now. Anyone who opens a new $60 a month unlimited plan can get their Icon 5, their Outlast, or Magic 5G smartphone free between now and December 18th. Just one part of Cricut Wireless's Winter Wonder Sale. Be sure to stop by there for anyone who's really wanting to stay on budget with a great phone, no sticker shock, no surprises. For the younger ones, I am obsessed with StoryPod. This is that screen-free interactive educational audio player. Comes with this little crafty, cute little yarn character that kids set on top to launch stories, games, music. They've also added new characters like Peppa Pig and Paw Patrol and launched a learning set quarterly subscription service. Absolutely fabulous. Now for that jaw dropper, the X-Real Air 2 Pro AR glasses. These usher in that next era of wearables. Turn whatever you're watching, whether it's from a smartphone, a computer, a video game, or console, into a virtual big screen from 10 to 30 feet high. This is the showstopper. Be sure to read more at my website, techish.com. Thank you, Jennifer. All right, fashion eyewear are actually going to be the next perfect gift for that somewhat special in your life. Here's fashion expert Melissa Garcia with more. Hey there, Melissa.
Thanks for having me. Yeah, so Foster Grant is your one-stop shopping destination for all your gift-giving needs. They actually turn 95 next year. Their quality is still impeccable. Their styles are still fresh and new. They have something for everyone on your list, from kids to adults, and the price point is all under $50. So incredible collection and lots of different pieces to talk through. One of my favorites is the Foster Grant Sun Love Collection. This collection is with the premise all for one and one for all. It's all about embracing your own personal style and they come in a 100% recyclable paper tube, which is great because it makes it a really easy stocking stuffer. The Styles For You collection is another one of my favorites. If you have more of a diverse face shape, if you have a higher cheekbone, a lower nose bridge, this collection really embraces all of those unique features and enhances them in a really beautiful way. If there's a fashionista on your list, you're going to want to grab the Sofia Vergara collection. These are super high glam. You can feel her inspiration throughout this collection and any fashionista on your list would love a pair of these. Now, if there's somebody on your list who loves to be outdoors, is super active, a sports enthusiast, you'd want to grab either the Iron Man collection or the Panama Jack collection. They're comfortable, they're non-slip, they're polarized, they'll stay on your face nice and snug while you're working out. Um, they're glare resistant, scratch resistant, really hits on everything you need for an outdoor sunglasses. And if you're outdoors as well, but not working out, the Polarize for Digital Devices is really cool collection. This one's great because it has special technology, that Polarize technology to reduce glare, really making it easier to see your devices outside. And if you're somebody that's on the go, or know someone that's on the go, these are really fun. My husband has these all over the house. These are the Super Flat Readers Collection. They're super thin, they have paper thin technology, which makes them, able to go in your smallest bags, in your pockets, really available for you whenever you need them. And you can find all of these styles and more at fostergrant.com. And we are giving you a special discount code today, 20% off with the code Mary. So be sure to use that and happy shopping. Anything you see here on the show, you can check out our, our brand new website. It's dailyflashshow.com. There you can find not only, as mentioned, all the links and all the different uh, interviews that we do here on the show, but you can also drop us an email. Anything you see on the show you want to ask us about, there's a button there. You press it, it comes right to us. we got more fun, trendy news and entertainment coming up right here on Daily Flash. Welcome back to Daily Flash. Just in time for the holidays, host and style expert Lawrence Zarian is here to tell us all about his new exclusive QVC collection. It's called Beautiful by Lawrence Zarian. Hi, Lawrence. Thanks for having me. I am so happy to be here, and I am so excited about my brand new collection, Beautiful by Lawrence Zarian, exclusively a QVC. Now, I've had the pleasure over the past 30 years to make over women of all shapes, ages, and glorious sizes. And in those 30 years, women have told me what was missing when it came to fashion for them. And the women told me what they loved about their body, what they wanted to hide and camouflage. So this collection, Beautiful by Lawrence Zarian, was inspired and dedicated to all these women that have trusted me to show them how to look in the mirror and love what they see. And it's holiday time. So not only do you want to look and feel beautiful, you also want to gift beautiful. And uh, some of the pieces were inspired by women that have inspired my life. So one of my favorites, and yes, I have some favorites, it's called the Garcelle Belted Jumpsuit. And I call this one and undressing. And the best part about the jumpsuit is that it has an adjustable waistband for women to create their own waistline. Plus it has pockets and no zippers to battle. It is perfect for every occasion. And it's available in crimson, navy, and black in both regular and petites. Next up, I have a tweed seasonless weight fully lined tweed jacket with a removable flower pin. And there's just something so classic and elegant about the tweed jacket. You can dress it up, dress it down, plus the plaid matches at the center front and side seams. And it's a little bit of old Hollywood glam with a modern fresh take on a classic jacket. Available in mountain green, ivory, navy, and muted peony. And then one of my favorites, inspired and named after my mother. It is the Doris Lace Front Button Shirt. Named after Doris, 
and my mom loved lace. You can wear your lovely lace with everything from dress pants to jeans to skirts, and it is available in mulberry, ivory, and black, and it's only $72 to look luxe and lace. So if you want to get your beautiful on, just go to qvc.com, search the word beautiful by Lawrence Zarian, and find sizing that is inclusive for you, from extra, extra small to 5X. Lawrence is actually good for any years. Yeah. And I went and bought his book because he has a fashion book out. It's really designed for women, though. But it's really <laughs> so good. So I hand it out, and they love the gift. That does it for our show, everybody. We'll see you when we look at you. Bye-bye.